We need to talk. What's wrong? I don't know how to tell you this, but you need to know. What is it? I think you and Ford had sex after all. What are you talking about? I walked in on a conversation between Starr and Langston. They were talking about Ford. And apparently he went to the hospital the other day to be tested for an STD. The other day, you... After I told him you had hepatitis C. But he didn't have any reaction, Not Kelly. when he was talking to me, but Jess. If he just went and got the test right after... Wait. You think he got tested for hepatitis? I don't know, but if he did... God! That he must have thought he could have gotten it from me. Daddy! Glad I found you. We need your help. You, could... you okay? Yeah. Sure, what? Look, if this has anything to do with that thing with you and Gigi, just know that I'm I am... Pregnant. What? Yeah. Wow. You and John are gonna have a baby. That's great! Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's great. It's just, I was a little worried about how... how John would feel after losing a baby such a short time ago. Right. You think it might take him a while to get on board with the idea? No. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's good. He wants the baby. So what's the problem? Me. Oh, hey. Can I get you? Uh, I'll have a beer, I guess. Bottle or draft? I don't care. Is everything all right? No, Gigi, everything's not all right. And you know why. House of Salt. Swings at the first pitch and fouls deep back into the stands behind the Who is it, Bobby? Well, this is a surprise. Point. Hey, Star. Hey, James. Uh, James, this is my best friend, Langston. Langston, this is James. Hi. I've heard a lot about you. I'm not even going to touch that one. Uh, what are you doing here? Your brother asked Star a question tonight, but she didn't really get a chance to answer it. So we're here to make sure he knows exactly where she stands. Hey, can you hear me? Is that a yes? Hey, Anna. Hey, it's cool. Hey, can you open your eyes? Cool? Yeah. You don't recognize me? Am I... Am I alive? <gasps> what are you doing here? Hello, Lieutenant. I hope that's not a serious question, since my client tried to kill herself for the second time. I thought the least I could do was see how she is. Mm. Doug said she's going to be okay. Oh, that is a relief. Well, I'll tell you, you said so. Well, thanks, John, but if it's okay with you, I'd like to tell her myself. No, it's not okay. Is that a problem? I don't understand. You're not happy about the baby. So are you telling me this baby's mine? I don't... I don't know anything. The truth is, this baby could just as easily be yours as it could be John's. 
just, uh, just a really big surprise, that's all. John and I hadn't talked about having a baby, and then it just happened. You know, and I guess I just thought that when I had a baby, it was going to be the right time, and everything, everything would be right. Okay, well, that's a nice idea, but it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, but it's scary enough trying to have a baby when you're prepared for it, but when you're not... Okay, first of all, I don't think anybody's ever really prepared for how their life's going to change when they bring a baby into the world. But some surprises turn out to be the best thing that ever happens to you. And I will make sure to tell Shane you said that. Besides, it's not like you don't have any experience with it. I do. Well, you took care of me when I was a baby. Before Roxy shipped me off to live with Aunt Corinne. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And I don't think anyone expected me to know what I was doing back then. I think it's going to be a little different now. Come on, you're a natural. No, I'm not. I'm overwhelmed. Is that why you waited so long to tell people? Even brother-type people? I just... I didn't, I didn't feel right. And no matter what John says, I, I still think there's a big part of him that's grieving for the baby he lost. John's a lucky man. To have a baby on the way? He has you. Not putting any pressure on him. Being sensitive to what he went through with Marty. It's very cool. Uh, no, please don't give me so much credit. I mean, I'm, I'm flying blind right now. Half the time I don't even know what I'm doing or why. Hey! Cut yourself some slack. You want to tell me somebody who's not overwhelmed right now? I mean, raising a child, it's like the biggest job there is. Yeah, exactly. No pressure or anything. When you start thinking too much, you freak out. So here's the drill. I want you to pick up your phone, text me the word help. I will read it and come running. You got it? I got it. I love you. I love you too, person. babe. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I supposed to know what you're talking about? Natalie told me she filled you in about the whole thing. About the night she came to my place. About what we did. Now it's too damn easy for that to be the night that she got pregnant. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, I know you guys slept together and that there's a chance, an outside chance, that the baby could be yours. So. Supposed to do about it? Because I sure as hell don't. This is killing me, Gigi. It's killing Natalie too. She knows how much you love Jessica, how much you deserve not to have a worry in the world right now. And she deserves the same thing with John to just be happy. She debated and debated about even telling you. She finally decided that she had to be honest. So where do we go from here? Well, hopefully nowhere. If it is John's baby, that'll be the end of it. And until we know? Until then, you stay focused on Jessica and the baby you're having with her. At least that's one thing you can be sure about. I don't believe this. Ford promised on more than one occasion that we did not have sex that night. He's obviously a very good liar. You saw him when I told him about the hepatitis thing. He didn't bat an eye. Uh, then maybe, maybe that was the truth. Maybe whatever he was getting tested for was because of somebody else that he had been with. I mean, we all know his reputation. We all know his reputation, and I still got into bed with him anyway. I it wasn't you. What do you mean? The person who did that was a young, naive, traumatized girl who didn't know what she was letting okay, herself in well, for. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, okay? Because... If there's any chance at all this is Robert Ford's baby and not Brody's, then, then I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have to do something. What the hell is she talking about? Why would you go see Star in the first place? Was that supposedly when you went for a walk? Is that what he told you? Yeah, Star, he lied to me. No, he came over and asked if things between me and Cole got bad enough that we broke up, if he would have a chance with me. Dude, I told you to stay away from her. Well, if I had told you the truth, you would have stopped me. I wasn't going to let you do that. All right, well, what about you? What's your excuse? Star's my best friend. Yeah, well, your best friend should be able to speak for herself. I will. Don't worry about it. I'm here for backup. And plus, I wanted to meet James for myself. So, James, do you want to hear Star's answer or not? Hey, Anna. You're okay. For a 
while there, we weren't sure you were going to make it. But thank God you did. Well, where am I? Well, you're still in St. Anne's. What do you mean, still? Well, they sent you here after you confessed. I mean, do you remember confessing to the police about attacking Ford? And then something else. Right, you said the star's dad didn't push my mom down the stairs. You said that you did it. How is that true? I feel really weird. What happened to me? It's like... Oh, my brain's not working. Uh, Hannah, you OD'd. What? Yeah, you got your hands on some pills like before, and but this time you swallowed a lot more. I'm certainly not about to shoot myself. <sighs> of course you're not going to shoot yourself. How do we ever explain the gun? However, you OD'd. No one would ever be surprised. Oh my god. Remember? Yeah. Why? Why'd you try to kill yourself? Come on now, John. You know you can't prevent me from seeing my client. I think I just did. That girl is emotionally disturbed, and there are very few people in this world she trusts. I just happen to be one of them. That's her problem. I'm worried about her, Lieutenant. To think that she lost all hope to the point where she tried to take her own life again. If that's how it happened? What is that supposed to mean? Well, we're not sure how all this went down. Oh, well, from what I understand, <clears throat> she stole a bottle of pills from the supply cart and then swallowed every one of them. I don't really see the big mystery. Well, I haven't heard that from her yet, and I need to do that. In the meantime, I have a couple questions for you. For me? Yeah. I saw your name on the sign-in sheet. You were... Here a few hours before Hannah was discovered and revived. Yes, that's right, I was. I came to check on her because, well, I was worried about her, and it's my job. How'd she seem? Very depressed, actually. Did you mention that to any of the staff? As a matter of fact, I did, to Sister Catherine on my way out. You told her Hannah might be suicidal. Well, I'm not a doctor, John. I didn't feel qualified to make that determination at the time. So you had no idea your client might swallow a bottle of pills? None whatsoever. Look, detective, if there's something you want to say to me, I think you should feel free to get it off your chest. It shouldn't have come here, Star Member. There's not interested in you. You don't speak for me, Bob. I'm sorry. I thought Star had a boyfriend and a baby, and I thought you knew that. Yes, he does. Well, then why don't you go back home with baby and boyfriend? Damn right it! Where you will. Let her say what she came to say. I'm listening. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take your questions one by one. Do I have doubts about Cole? No, I don't. And if you think that we are going to break up and you are just going to be able to take his place, you couldn't be more wrong. Oh my God. Oh my God, this can't be Ford's baby. Oh my God, I won't be able to live okay, with myself. Jessica, what am I gonna... Don't panic. It's totally possible Ford could have been tested for something besides hepatitis. Okay, so how do we find out? I don't know. Well, there's gotta be some way. Well, maybe. I doubt it's legal. Medical records are confidential. We're, we're both reporters. I mean, you wouldn't let doctor-patient confidentiality get in the way of a story. There's always a first time. So, this is my life, Kelly. This isn't a story. I'll do whatever it takes, legal or not. I can't just turn off part of my brain, Gigi. I, I can't just decide not to think about what to do if Natalie's baby turns out to be mine. You and Natalie would have to work that out together. What if she decides we should lie? Let John think the baby's his, even if we know different. I'm not sure I can do that. I'm not sure Natalie could either. Brody, try not to get ahead of yourself. I can't help it. I've lied about something like this once before, remember? About being Shane's father. We both did. Yeah, that didn't work out too great for us, did it? A lot of people got hurt when the truth came out. I wasn't sure how things were going to turn out, but in the end, everything turned out okay, right? Just try to have faith that what's supposed to happen will happen. 
Meanwhile, the fewer people you know about this, the better. So if, if you please keep it to yourself, okay? I will. That means not telling Rex. Can you do that? Nobody is going to find out for me, okay? But if John is the father of Natalie's baby, then there will be nothing to figure out. Everyone will have exactly what they want. I hope to God you're right. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry we've been so focused on my craziness. You never got a chance to tell me why you came. Oh, that's okay. You, you know, you got enough on your mind. No, you said that you, you needed help with something, so... John's not gonna walk in here any minute, is he? I don't think so. Why? Tell me what's going on. You need to tell me something first. What? Am I talking to Natalie, the forensics tech, or Natalie, my sister? Do you need me to be off duty for this conversation? Yes and no. I'm really confused. Okay, but if you're on the job and that means you're gonna have to report me, then no, but I do need your professional skills. Oh my god, what law did you break now? I didn't break any laws. Client, Kelly Kramer. And what is it? Well, they used to be important documents. Is there any way to piece them back together? Technically, yes, but um, let's see, you needed a court order. Did you obtain these with a warrant? Right. Okay, so no judge is going to allow this in court if you don't have a warrant. That's okay. They do not need to be admissible in court. I just need to be able to read them so I can know what's in them. Rex, I don't know. Okay, if you're uncomfortable, I'll find another way. I don't want you compromising your job or your relationship with John. No, Eli, I have nothing to say to you. Just some questions about your client. All right, well, I have no objection to answering a few questions. That's very generous of you. My only concern is I'm not sure why I'm being prevented from seeing my client since no crime has been committed here. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure why you're here at all. Well, as you know, Head O'Connor has confessed to a number of crimes and that she needs to pay the price. Well, I think she's paid a pretty high price already. She tried to end her life. That doesn't clean the slate. Your client needs to be prosecuted and sentenced. That's what the law requires. Now we have to play it by the book. Isn't it obvious? I mean, after all the terrible things I've done, why would I want to live? The question is, how did I survive? Oh, I found you before it was too late. You found me? Yeah, you were barely breathing, but the doctors got the stuff out of your system in time and brought you back. I can't believe you came here. Well, when you called me, you sounded weird, and I got worried. So I came to check on you, but they wouldn't let me see you, but I found a way to sneak in, and there you are. So you saved my life. Again. I guess so. You really shouldn't have done that. John is a lot like Bo. He's big on procedure. More than likely, he's gonna have a problem with you moonlighting with P.I. on department time. You think? That's what I'm saying. I do not want to get you into trouble. Yeah, but you came to me anyway, which means whatever's in here is probably pretty important. Yeah, you know how people say it's a matter of life and death, but it really isn't? This really is. And you don't want to go to John directly? Not until I have more for him, which I'm hoping happens when I see what's in these documents. Okay, I will do whatever I can. Seriously. Seriously. Thank you. Okay, Thank but, you. but, mm. if John asks me what I'm doing, full disclosure, I have to tell him what I'm working on. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Should we shake on it? Yeah. Look, I will call you when I find something. You are amazing. And so are you, wherever you are. I'm your Uncle Rex, and I can't wait to meet you. <laughs> Natty, with you and John as parents, that is going to be one good looking kid. You want another one? It would be so easy to get wasted right now, but that's the shape I was in when this whole mess started, so no. Better keep a clear head. Go home. Go give Jessica and Bri a hug and remember all the good things in your life. All the good things I could lose, you mean? It's not gonna happen. You promise? 
we have to have faith. I'm gonna try. Thanks for listening, Gigi. What are friends for? Okay, I told my mom that I have to go pick up something for work and uh, she'll stay here in case Bree wakes up, so let's get going. Where? To the hospital. Do you know what time it is? I don't care, Kelly. What does that matter? Visiting hours were over a while ago. We might be a little bit noticeable. Well, then we'll say that we're reporters doing work on a story about a new research center. We'll find out whoever did Robert Ford's test and then we'll figure out what we need to know. Yeah, because all we have to do is ask, right? Doctors and nurses love reporters in the middle of the night. Well, if we have trouble with personnel, then we'll find a computer. I'm sure there's a record of the test on there in it. And we get access to a hospital computer? How? Kelly, I don't know, but we have to figure out something, okay? I, I, I'm just saying, you know what? You could get caught, all right? I know, trust me. Then I'll go by myself. No, no, no. What if you do get caught and Brody finds out? How are you going to explain why you were desperate to read Robert Ford's medical records? James, I'm sorry to be so blunt. I just figured that I would make a clean break. You asked for a bro. Hope you're satisfied. If there were a word of truth in it, sure. Yeah, I'd be satisfied. But I don't believe you, Star. Why would I lie? Let's ask Langston. Langston, what do you think? Is Star happy with Cole? That's not my call, that's Star's. And she already told you. Yeah, but you're her best friend, right? I'm sure you have an opinion about it. I mean, you know the both of them. You even live with them. Are Star and Cole in a good place right now? James, you seem like a really nice guy, but Star and Cole, they're really special. I mean, of all the couples I've ever known, they have what it takes to stay together no matter what. Well, did you mean that? You think I'm a nice guy? Yeah, sure. Then why don't you go out with me? See, we're not at odds here, John. My client made a full confession, and I'm trying to see to it that justice is done. Hey, Eli. Did you ask your client to fake a breakdown so she can end up in here instead of in jail? What? What kind of a question is that? Wow. Do you think she tried to fake killing herself too? I think that's proof enough she needs to stay in a hospital. Uh, so I can, uh, I can count on you to tell me anything I, I need to know about all this. Nice try, Lieutenant. Now, either make an arrest or I'm going in. Anna, why would you say I shouldn't have saved you? Cole never did anything to you. Please don't hurt him. I won't if you don't give me a reason. Fine, to. just tell me what you want. You know what I want. Because I did terrible things to Ford and you and your mom and her baby. And you knew you were going to get punished. You were willing to accept it and then all of a sudden something changed. You decided you had to punish yourself and I can't figure out why. I'm not sure I can explain. Try. Anna, if there's something you need to tell me. You're right. If I ever had to explain to Brody why I needed to find Ford's medical records, I... I couldn't lie. I'd have to tell him that I might have slept with Ford. You don't want to do that. No. Not unless it turns out that Brody is not the father of this baby after all. Don't do this to yourself. Come Kelly, on, my chances are so slim. Just sit around not knowing. I have to go and see Ford again. What's the point of that? If he's been lying, he'll keep on lying. But not if he knows that I know that he's been tested. That might be enough to force the truth out of him, don't you think? Maybe. Well, then it's what I gotta do. All right, I'll go with you. No. No, you've been really great, Kelly, and I appreciate it, but I think, I think I have a better chance of getting the truth out of Ford if I see him alone.
I have to thank you. For what? For being such a good friend to my sister. Natalie told me that she couldn't have gotten through the last few days without you. She said that? Among other things. I know the whole story, Cheech. I know she's pregnant. <sighs> I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. Why? Now I know if I ever have to swear you to secrecy, you're going to totally come through. <sighs> well, you can see why Natalie didn't want the whole world to know. The situation was pretty complicated. Sure. Because of John. John? Well, he lost the baby with Marty. You know, that just happened. No wonder John and Natalie wanted to keep things low-key. Mm, yes, of course they do. I'm glad Natalie told you. Me too! And I, uh, I, I hate keeping anything from you. Even if it's for a good cause. What the hell do you think you're doing, James? What? I'm single. Langston's single. She's hot. What's wrong with getting to know each other better? Well, there are a million other girls you can get to know better. Oh. Why her? What's wrong, Bobby? Is she on that list of people I'm supposed to stay away I from? I never said that. No. You said she was just another hookup that dragged on too long. I, I don't think that's how I put it. That's what you meant. So if you don't want her, you don't get to weigh in here. So what do you say, Langston? You want to go out? I would love to. Something tells me you'll treat me a lot better than your brother did. Great. I'll give you a call. Hannah, thank God you're all right. You're all so worried. Well, you can thank Cole. He's the one who saved my life. Wow, Cole, that is... that is very admirable under the circumstances. What circumstances? Oh, I'm just referring to Hannah's role and what happened to your mom. It's Surprising you turned out to be her savior, especially considering you're the reason she got to this point in the first place. What are you talking about? I don't want to make it sound like I'm blaming you, Cole, because I'm not, but you do seem to trigger some pretty extreme behavior where Hannah's concerned. That's not true. Sweetheart, we are just trying to figure out why you tried to hurt yourself and make sure it does not happen again. You know, I think something else is going on, and Hannah was just getting ready to tell me about it. Is that right? Is that what you were getting ready to do? No, of course not. I was just telling Cole that he needed to leave. No, you weren't. I'm sorry, if you could get Cole out of here. Cole, I'm sorry, you're upsetting Look, my I, client. I have every right to talk to her, okay? Lieutenant, please. Yeah, Cole, uh, right now I think she needs to talk to her lawyer alone. Thank you, John. Yeah, why are you doing this? supposed to be dead. How are we going to fix that? Hey, Jess. You going somewhere? Uh, hey, yeah, I'm just uh, going to do some work on a story. Is everything okay? Sure. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? You just seem a little preoccupied. Is this about the news that you want to talk to me about? No, no, that, that can wait. Go take care of whatever you're working on. I'll see you when you get back. Okay. I won't be long. Okay. Hey, Jess. I love you. I love you, too. baby of our own. If we're going to get married, I can't have a baby with her and another one with her twin sister. Langston, what's your number? It's 555-0176. Oh, 0176. Yeah. <laughs> what? I had to make sure you weren't lying. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a fake number. I'm not like that. Well, good. I'll, uh... 
think about where we might want to go. And when I come up with some options, I'll call you on your non-fake number and we can make plans from there. That sounds great. I can't wait. I look forward to it. What was that about? What are you talking about? It's not my fault. I mean, I did exactly what you told me to do. I swallowed the whole bottle. I know. I watched you do it. I even told Sister Catherine not to disturb you. I don't know how Cole got in here. I, I, I didn't tell him to come. I, I didn't even know he was here until you know I opened Cole's my eyes. Is? You know what his problem is? He's got to be the hero. Got to do something about that. What does that mean? What do you even do to him? John, Hannah didn't want me to leave. She, she wanted me there. You seem pretty sure about that. Yeah, she was just about to say something, and when Eli walked in, she just shut up. Why do you think that is? I don't know. But all the stuff about her wanting to kill herself because of me, that's not what happened. I did. There's, there's, there's more to it. I'm not sure anybody fully understands why she did what she did. She's, she's a very troubled girl. Right. I think Eli may be taking advantage of that. But no one's going to get the truth out of Hannah with that guy around. Well, then maybe we have to do something about that. Because I need to talk to Hannah. I need to talk to her alone. Please don't hurt Cole. I I'll do anything you want. I'll take more pills. And this time we'll make sure that... Shut up and let me think. You promised me. You promised me that you wouldn't hurt him. Yes, if you lived up to your side of the bargain, but here we are. Now I can't very well finish you off with McBain lurking around, can I? What do you want me to do? Just, just keep your mouth shut. Meanwhile, I'm gonna figure out some way to get the good detective off my back. And what about Cole? What about him? Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Hall has a therapy session with Hannah. We need to talk about what I'm sorry, gents, we weren't quite finished here. My patient tried to kill herself. What do we think she needs more right now, her doctor or her lawyer? Let's give them some time together. I just want to say goodbye. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself, Cole. You too. I'll be in touch. Hospital, I put a roof over your head, and in return, you humiliate me. I asked a pretty girl to go out with me. What the hell does that have to do with you? You know my history with Langs. Yeah, you treated her like crap. And I think that means you don't get to decide what she does or who she sees no, no, for the rest you, of her life. You did this for two reasons to stick it to me and to stick it to Star. I don't live my life trying to get back at people, Bobby. That's you. Bull. Bull. Star didn't like you, and you couldn't take it. No, I'm not having this conversation. Here's how you could have played it. You, you, you could have waited till Langston went home, looked up her number, and asked her out in private. But instead you had to wait until Star and I were standing right here so you could put on your little show. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I didn't ask Langston to marry me. I asked her if she wanted to go out sometime. If you want to turn that into a conspiracy, okay, fine. But you're going to have to do it alone. I'm going to bed. You can get that. But if it's Langston, make sure you come get me out of bed. Hey, what are you doing here? I came to get the truth, once and for all. Truth about what? That night, when I came to your apartment, we had sex, didn't we? Oh, I like it when this place is empty. It means I can make out with the hot waitress. <laughs> I'm not off duty yet. I still have to close out the register and stuff. I take a few minutes. I can wait. Okay. I'll be right back. Right. Oh, got a 
found you. Hey, Kelly. So, how did it go with Natalie? Is she able to help us reconstruct those documents? Well, she's gonna try. There's no guarantees, though. What about John? Well, she's not gonna volunteer any information. There's no guarantees, though, either. What do you mean? She gave me fair warning. If he smells something's up with anything and he asks, she's gonna come clean. Okay, he's gonna kill me. No, he won't. He'll kill me. I'm the one who did the asking. As far as John knows, you didn't know what I was doing. Well, I think he's gonna figure it out. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. If these documents prove that Eli Clark is our killer, John's gonna have to know everything. Even about our little breaking and entering adventure. You know, it, it's okay. If we nail Eli, I don't care. At least we'll keep him from killing anyone else ever again. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. No problem. What's going on? I don't have a therapy session? Tomorrow, after you've had a good night's sleep. Thanks again. What's going on? I asked your doctor to clear everyone out of the room so you and I could have a chance to talk. What for? I need you to be honest with me, Hannah. About what? I don't think you tried to kill yourself. Why don't you tell me what really happened? <laughs> 